Hi everyone, um, it's my pleasure to talk to you today about microvessel disease. As you know, microvessel disease is one of the most frustrating diagnoses to have. Oftentimes, it's uh, diagnosed in women. These are patients who come in with chest pain with exertion, so chest pressure, chest tightness, shortness of breath when they're exerting themselves. And then they undergo a stress test, and sometimes they fail the stress test, and then they undergo cardiac catheterization, which is where we put a catheter up to the heart, inject it with dye, take movie pictures. The cardiac catheterization is completely normal, and they're sent home and told that you don't have heart disease, but, of, but patients keep on having symptoms. What we now know in 2018 is, is that a um, lot of these patients have something that we call microvessel disease, arteries we can't see with our eyes, we can't stent or bypass, that are too small to see. These arteries, instead of dilating with exercise or with stress, they constrict and cause chest pressure, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. It mostly occurs in women, but it can also occur in men. The problem with microvessel disease is that it is very difficult to diagnose. Um, there's been some advancement. One is uh, the gold standard is coronary flow reserve. This is where we take you to the cardiac cath lab, we put a wire down, we give you a medicine, um, and that medicine we can provoke uh, the microvessel dysfunction. And if you're positive, we can then give you medicine to treat that. And I'll talk about some of the treatments for that um, a little bit later. That another way to diagnose it has been cardiac MRI. Cardiac MRI uh, is an MRI scan, but for the heart. We give you medicine to make your heart think it's exercising, and then we take pictures. Now, cardiac MRI is not the gold standard. The, still the gold standard is the coronary cath lab and this uh, medicine that we give. But because a lot of, these, a lot of our patients have had um, angiograms done, Sometimes they don't want to undergo another repeat cardiac catheterization with medication challenge. At this point, we sometimes would treat empirically for microvessel dysfunction. So microvessel dysfunction occurs when the lining of the heart becomes dysfunctional, what we call endothelial dysfunction. The way to treat that is with aspirin. ACE inhibitor, these are a class of agents that help the uh, endothelium function better, and then sometimes cholesterol-lowering medicine because it can also help with endothelial dysfunction. To treat the symptom of chest pain, we often give them long-acting nitroglycerin, like isosorbide mononitrate or dinitrate, or we give them calcium channel blockers. The other great thing for microvessel disease is a regular exercise program, like cardiac rehab. And that can have a very good effect on alleviating symptoms and improving endothelial dysfunction. Most people get diagnosed with microvessel disease um, around the time of their menopause or maybe afterwards. And in few years, with the treatment of endothelial dysfunction, their symptoms do get better. So if you think you have microvessel dysfunction, you should really talk to your um, cardiologist. But the treatment is exercise and treating endothelial dysfunction with ACE inhibitors, aspirin, and cholesterol-lowering medicine.